You're watching Power Nation. Today on Music City Trucks, we're here at Stove Balls in Fayetteville, Tennessee. We're gonna meet Mr. Bill, the founder and owner of this company and talk to him about how he built such a cool business. And then we're gonna get to see all the new and old tow trucks. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. And later, we're gonna bring ourselves home a new project, hopefully. Welcome to Music City Trucks. I'm Brandon Burke. And I'm Mark Chris. And today we are at Stovall's in Fayetteville, Tennessee. We're actually looking for a project, but before we do that, we're gonna go talk to the man who built this business. Bill? Yeah. Let's go talk to him. Let's do it. Stovall Body Shop, this is Bill, can I help you? It was October 1st, 1968, when I went in business. Uh, I was 21 years old and thought I knew everything. I went to college a couple years and then uh, I just uh, quit college and uh, that's when I fell into working in the body shop for the man. And I went to work for another man that already had established a body shop and uh, he was gonna go over and run his brother's shop and he wanted me to run his shop. And I said, well, if I'm gonna run your shop, I just sing on it. And uh, got with my, my mom and dad and uh, they agreed to, they mortgaged their house so I could go into business. So I guess if you say, say who started the business, they were a critical part of starting this business. The amount of money it took to go in business, I thought I would never pay back, but the amount of money I, I went in business as far as a drop in the book and what it is today. Now I actually started out as a body shop. Record service was, was at that time was more or less a sideline. A person going into the record business today or the body shop either one is, is the expense and buying the up-to-date equipment. And if you don't have the up-to-date equipment, you're gonna be left behind. When I went in business, uh, you couldn't have survived just in the record business. And in a small town, you gotta be diversified. So October 1st of this year, we would have been in business 55 years. Got a wife that works here every day. She's the boss. She does the uh, checks, the deposits, the, pay, the payroll. She does all the money part stuff. One son is a, he's a, a minister in Clarksville, but he works here too when he has time. And then my oldest son works here and my grandson, and they run, they run the records. Then I've got a brother that does body work that's been here with me since he was nine or 10 years old. He, basically a family business and and, the, and I've got employees that's been here like 30, 40 years and good Lord has been good to us, it's been a good business and our family members have really helped a lot. My first car was a 47 Chevrolet with a 327 four speed in it and I don't really understand why a dad would do that to a 16 year old kid but he did and muscle cars was made to modify so. I've got a couple of judges that are 100%, but uh, I, I still like my modified 65. <laughs> and most of this, most of these items you see up here is uh, probably 90% of them, maybe even more, was given to me. My uh, high school class meets once a month. And uh, so I had, had heart surgery in 2011. When I came back after my heart surgery, they said, you need to retire. You need to, you know, my class did, said you need to retire. I said, well, let's think about this. I said, we started out with probably 20 or 25 here every week. I said, in that few years, I said, we've had several that died. And I said, uh, half of y'all that's retired, you're looking for another job. I said, and the other half of you, you never did work. I've known you whole life, you never did work. And so they just laughed at that. So completely retire, probably not. I, I still enjoy coming out here. Actually, I'm 75 years old, so you might as well say I've about done it for 70 years. I guess I was working on doing something. I'm sure I was working on a wagon or a, or a tricycle when I was five years old. What's my legacy when I finally go? I hope that I've uh, treated people fairly. Uh, my legacy, I hope, is uh, that I was good to my employees and I was good to God and my country. And 
That's what everybody should try to do. Because if you don't do those two things, I don't think you're gonna be successful. Coming up next, we move over and make room for a local company's collection that still gets used today. Record business has really come a long, long ways in the last 15 or 20 years. It was a good sideline for your body shop because if, if you brought that vehicle in, you had a lot better chance of getting to repair it. The deal out here is each one has a designated job. Darrell is, is the big wreckers. He would go to Huntsville, he'd get out of school, he'd probably make one or two trips to Huntsville every afternoon. When you started working here, you started working here when you were a teenager, right? Correct, yes. And it, was that just a natural thing for you to, to work here? You just always knew you were gonna work for the family business, or? I guess, didn't really have, I, I'm not gonna say I didn't have a choice, but I, I just grew up with it and didn't know any different. Just didn't know any better, but, but <laughs> maybe not, but I, I still enjoy it. What was a typical work day for you? Uh, well, he'd work after school and work on Saturdays. Uh, and if he, had, if he went out at night, well, I went with him. Uh, a lot of times mama didn't know I was out with him, but that's, you know, as long as you didn't get caught, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> so Daryl, I noticed y'all have a lot of trucks here. Yes, sir. What are these three here? They look real similar. Those are your everyday trucks you run all day, every day for most majority of your calls. <laughs> what about the ones you don't run every day? Well, these are these are not as common to run every day, but they, they then when it gets serious, this is what you use. <laughs> yes, this is a 22 Peterbilt with a 25 ton wrecker. It'd be for your everyday towing of big stuff. Okay. Yes, sir. How often do these things go out? I think it's pretty regular, not as much as the rollbacks, but, yeah. but you know, they just depends on the demand. I, I know you got three, so what's the next biggest truck you got? It would be the 50 ton uh, Peterbilt. Let's go check that out. So this is the Mac Daddy, huh, Daryl? Yes, sir. This is a 50 ton uh, Century Rotator. So that's what makes this truck different from this other yes. 50 ton is that piece of machinery right there. Boom, will rotate 360 degrees. So if there's a big wreck on the interstate involving a big yes. truck or something, yeah. you guys get the It's call handy for on two-lane roads too because most of them aren't very wide either. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pull the stuff yes. out of the ditch. Let's take a look at some of your older trucks. We can do it. Let's do it. This is one of our older trucks, a 73 Ford that we bought new. And uh, my granddaddy used to drive it all the time. We redid it in 2000. Wow. But it's uh, That's right up my alley, Daryl, <laughs> I gotta tell you. I know y'all like the old school stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is yeah. super cool. So this truck was bought new? New in 73. And it's yes. been here working for this company since then? Yes. Do you guys still use this truck or is it just? We use it occasionally, yeah. I use it. We don't leave anything alone, so it's got a, you know, 460 engine, air conditioning, power windows. Now what will you use this truck for? You go out on a job? Oh, uh, you move stuff in town with it, small cars or something. Uh, we don't, it's not gonna get put in a situation where it gets harmed. Yeah, I <laughs> put it that way. It. I guarantee it. How old were you the first time you drove this truck? Oh, uh, 16. <laughs> <laughs> Probably younger yeah. than that, you yeah. just don't wanna say yeah. it. Yeah. So this is pretty much what you started your career as yes. driving. Yes. yes. Will you ever sell that truck? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. But you're no, into square you... body Chevys, right? That's correct. I like them. I do. Do in part maybe to this truck? Of course. Yeah, you just, whatever. I guess what you first start driving or get used to driving, you, you're comfortable with it and you know what to expect out of it. Looking for a square body? We'd, we'd really like to have a square body. I've got the one over there that I would consider selling. It's a. I don't know what you're looking for, but I would consider selling it. Well, let's go look at it and see if it's what we're looking for. All right, let's do it. Up next, Rusty Gold. We're gonna check that out. Yeah. Well, we're here at Stovall's and we're getting ready to go uh, check out the yard here. Daryl cut us loose so we can hopefully find ourselves a project truck. Yeah, let's stop yakking and start looking. Well, Mark, if we wanted a patina truck, I think this would be it. Yeah, that looks like original paint. Yep. It's four wheel drive. Oh, it's a three quarter ton truck too. Rusty rockers, four cab speed. corners, doors. 
Yep, bed with doors, rockers, cab corners, bedsides. I mean, it's got beautiful patina. But we're, we're wanting to make a nicer truck, right? Yeah, I think so. Might be a little bit more sheet metal than we. It's got the hubcaps. It's a shame it's got this much rust in it, though. I know, otherwise it'd be a super good truck. I mean, look at the interior, it's clean. Man. Yeah, this is awesome. Let's, uh, let's see what else they got. They, he's got a little bit of everything, but this row has got mostly Chevy trucks. Yeah, there's some Fords here, but I see some Chevys. Well, it's early one. GMC. Well, let's take a look at this one. It's two wheel drive. Long bed. That's not gonna work. That one's pretty rough. Oh, <laughs> look at this. I think I'm in love. Baby Blue Ranger. Ah, oh, can you imagine? This was your truck. Look at that inside. <gasps> oh wow. my God. That is awesome. The Anything Baby Blue, I'm, I'm a sucker for. Oh my God. That is a mint. Mint. Bad. Too, bra too bad it's totaled in the front, huh? Ooh, wow. Careful. All right. Stay focused. All right, back on the Chevy. Yes, Chevy truck. Dude, look at. Wow. Huh? This thing. Oh. Look at that. I know this. Is this nice sheet metal. I know it's not a long bed, and there's almost every piece missing besides the sheet metal. But, dude. Wow, well, that's a good project. That's a good color, brown and tan. Mm-hmm, that is a good color. We want a long bed, though, and a more complete truck, so. Yeah, we definitely need a The sheet metal's truck. in great condition, though. Oh, look at that peach. The Sierra Grande? Dude, I, it's got the hubcaps on it still. Original paint, L listen to me. When I tell you I like early square bodies, I don't think you understand how much I like early square bodies. I don't think you really understand the love I have in my heart for these trucks. This one's got the wood grain interior. Wow, whoa, this one is cool. If this truck was four wheel drive, I don't care if it has rust on the bedsides. I mean, it's a clean truck overall. Yeah, I'd buy it. The hubcaps, I will make it. Yeah, that seals the deal. We need a four wheel drive truck, Brandon. Yeah, I know. This is the problem with a lot of these square body trucks is, yeah, a lot of them are either rusty or cut or up. been wrecked. Yep. This one's technically gone. Yeah, there's nothing left there. A lot of them are like that though. Oh, look at this, Brandon. Some real man had this, what year is the truck, 48 or 49? It's a 48. Had this with a tire machine somewhere in Alabama, circa 1972, just driving around changing tires. This dude was pimp. I'd like to shake that man's hand. That utility truck looks like it hit a utility pole, Brandon. <laughs> it, that thing is wrecked. Consumed it. All right, that's off the list. You know that had like a six cylinder in it. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. All the trucks down here at the bottom of the yard are, are pretty much junk. Yeah, most of these are totals. Um, I mean, <laughs> yeah, parts trucks, basically. Yeah. But I did see a few up there, and that may be where that one he was talking about that we okay. have to keep our hands off. Um, let's go take a look at yeah, what's up there. Let's go up there. See if we can find some. Oh, this must be the brown one that he said don't ask about. Oh, yeah. That repo truck's pretty nice. Yeah, though. that's that's super nice. I could see wow. why. Wow. Yeah, I see why we're hands off. Um, yeah, so this is the one he said he is wow. definitely not selling. It's, uh, Daryl told me it's a California truck. It's got like 70,000 miles on it, original paint, like no rust at all. Like, yeah, I can tell. But wow. I get it. It's too nice of a truck. Yeah. So, well, I mean, that's all his square bodies and, you know, to be honest, there's really nothing here that we're really interested in. This one's too nice and he's not gonna sell it, which I get. Yeah. The one he wants to sell is a little bit too rough for us. I mean, it, the eight inches down need to be replaced on that. You know, even if he was willing to sell this, this is out of our price range. Yeah. 
and then the others are too far gone. So like finding something in that sweet spot, it's getting hard. Yeah, especially on a square body. Oh, for sure. Well, what'd you find? I think, I think the ones you want to sell are a little too rough for us. And the one you don't want to sell is the one we want. Well, I got to thinking after you went down there, I went and I grew it with a guy. He's got one, whether he'll sell it or not, I don't know, but I can get you his information. And you'll be on your own there, but I can, I can get that for you and see. Well, it's a lead, that'd be good. Yeah, well, we'll do that. We appreciate it. Yeah. Well, Mr. Bill. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. It's been Thank a pleasure. You. Thank you for letting us yes, steal sir. your time yes, and right. walk no around problem. the yard. Thank yes, you. Y'all have a great place here. Well, thank you. We, we appreciate that. So y'all are leaving now? We're leaving. Yeah, we're, we're well, going to You told me you was coming for 15 minutes. You've been here two days now. <laughs> well, we're gone You're, now. We're out of well, your hair. We enjoyed you being here, okay? You're welcome. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, have a good one. You too. <laughs> Finally gone. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, we're on the search for our square body project. And this ain't it. Well, we came down the road about two and a half, three miles to Mullins Construction and Concrete. And I think Stovall put us onto the right guy with the square body. I think this is gonna be our truck. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, we already know. You don't wanna start with a truck that's too rough. Mm -hmm. And you definitely don't wanna start with a truck that's too nice, cause you don't wanna mess it up. Yeah. So. Hopefully this is the right truck and hopefully he's willing to sell it. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Well, this must be the truck. Oh yeah. You must be Chad. I am. I'm Mark. Nice to meet you, Mark. Nice Brandon. Nice, nice to meet you, Brandon. What are y'all looking for? Well, something like this. Tell us about the truck. Well, it's a 85 Chevrolet square body. Just original truck. It originally came out of Decatur, Alabama. A farmer had it, bought it new. And I think about the only thing he did with it was pull a gooseneck trailer and we bought it about four years ago and just me and my son just play with it have a good time in it what's wrong with the truck it's old <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little rattle we don't know what we never investigated it in the um like the flywheel torque converter or something like that it seemed like it's getting loose or something when i bought it i thought the motor would blow up in a few days and uh it's been going for four years <laughs> So you can't kill it. Are, you yeah. can't kill it. <laughs> I've pulled concrete trucks with it. I've done everything. Yeah, I see there's a, some bubbling on the cab corner. Woo will looks solid, though, in there. You said you think the dude towed a gooseneck with it most of the time? I do. That bed is great nice. shape. Nice. I put that line X in it as soon as I got it. Yeah. Wow. And it was such a nice bed. If you didn't I mean, have that, I mean, the worst part's the dent in the tailgate. And maybe that cab corner that's missing right there oh, that's nice yeah pop the hood all right all right it's got a 350 in it and be honest with you we ain't touched this truck in a year <laughs> okay <laughs> you think it'll fire up i don't know give it a crank see if it see if it'll fire up all right here we go hear that, hear that knock. It's like torque converter or flex plate or something I miss they had a diesel in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've walked around the truck, we've seen it, we've heard it run, but I know you didn't say it was for sale. Is it viable? Yeah, it's viable. I, I wasn't looking to sell it, but if you're gonna do something nice with it, I'll sell it. Well, I'll tell you, I'll trade you some USD for the title. <laughs> All right, I guess that worked. Yeah. That worked? Yeah. Sweet, thanks. We'll get this on to get this back to the shop and start working on it. All right. <laughs> I hope it makes a good trailer. Gotta love a straight axle. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Got ourselves a square body. Yeah, we do. Look at that. A little toasty in there, huh? Good. Hey, 
That is a beautiful truck. Oh, Mark? Yeah. Here's the new battery. Okay. You awesome. know, it kind of sucks that Chad wanted his battery, but you know what? To make a deal happen, I'm okay with giving back his battery. You can't blame the guy. He got half his money back, you know? <laughs> So the Duralast Gold battery has maximum cold cranking amps and reserve capacity ratings to meet or exceed your vehicle's original specifications. It's got the maximum number of plates and grids to deliver the most during startup. And it comes with a nationwide three-year free replacement warranty. It's a project. Put it on the lift. Well, we finally got our square body in our hands. It took a lot of effort searching, digging through the internet and people we know, but we found the perfect example for us to start building. You know what this thing looks like? What? Looks like Scott's truck. <laughs> or Dale, I don't know which. Are we gonna tell them what we're doing or what? I say no. No hints? Look, surprise. Okay. Let's just say it's gonna be a period correct build. Yeah. I'm gonna deliver this to Scott. He'll appreciate this. I'm gonna go to the lake. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Can't wait to build we this. We probably truck, should man. order parts. We should do that. <laughs> <laughs> 